Hey guys, uh, Omega Dark Mage here, and yeah, um, basically uh, I'm going to be showing you guys my Evil Swarm deck. I've shown it before, but it's just so good. Um, I'll be uh, pretty much showing it for a couple more duels. I just want to prove that it's really good. Uh, I've had a lot of success with it. And I'll be doing that deck profile later today. Anyways, uh, on to the duel. Um, not too bad. I think I'll lead with Thunderbird. Alright, let's see what we were facing today. I'll probably do Mecha Phantom Beast next week. Show you guys how good Mecha Phantom Beasts can be if you play them right. I have my own ways of playing Mechas, believe it or not. Mechas are just so good. King of the Swamp. Huh. Not bad, not bad. A good fusion card. You got polymerization by discarding it. Chain of no, I had that. Okay, um... Probably a face down for me, but I'm ready. There we go. And I'll use Thunderbird's effect. Power him up a little bit. Trap's done, huh? Let's start putting out the punishment. Alright. Thunderbird attacks. Let's see if we can deal some good damage here. Oh. Oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna go into an Ophion. Hmm. I think that's the best move to make. Going into Ophion in this situation. Yeah, I think we've got this. If he's running fusion monsters, then yeah, I think we're good. That's the Scarecrow, huh. Pretty annoying card. I've seen it used a lot in Final Countdown decks and Burn decks. Pretty much any deck that stalls to win. Oh boy, Cyber Dragons. Huh. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> Cyber Dragons. With Ophion, I don't think this guy can go into his high level Cyber Dragons that easily. So I should be good. And, oh yeah, we're good. I'm going to shuffle Caster back into the deck. I'm going to try and get a Kirky on here. That's pretty much the plan. Um, Cyber Drains are like level 5s for the most part. So if he wants to go into his rank 5 XYZ monsters or his high level fusion monster cards, he's going to have a problem. Well, there you have it. Evil Swarms, people. Evil Swarms. Uh, that was too fast. So I'm going to be doing another video. Or another... Actually, let's. I'll, I'll give you guys another duel in this video. How about that? Um... That was just too fast. Let's make it a double header, guys. Let's make it a double header. Uh, we gotta find an opponent. I'll just host a duel. All right. Let's make it a double header. A nice double header in this video. Two parter. And in the meantime, while we wait, I guess I could talk about um, some of my. Um... Oh, there he is. I was gonna mention Mecha Phantom Beasts. Um, I pretty much spam the field with them and just go United We Stand. That's a good card, dude. I run two in that deck, but I'm thinking about upping it up to three. Yeah. I'll probably up it to three because it's a good card to have in that deck. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm going to go first. Okay. I run Zahak in this deck, guys. 
Uh, I'm going to explain in the profile why I run him. Uh, he's really not that bad. He's not that bad. He's okay. I like Zahawk. I run one Zahawk in this deck. A, ver a very regular thing to do. Uh, I've never seen an Evil Swarm player, a serious Evil Swarm player, playing Zahawk, but I run him. He's got 1850 attack, so it's not all that bad. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Boojins! Oh boy, we're up against Boojins. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. Boojins. This is one of those matchups that Evil Swarm really has a hard time against. I think we're in for a tough one here. Once per turn during your end phase, you can add one Bujin monster from your deck to your hand and send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Huh. Wow. Um, this deck is really annoying. It activates card effects from the hand and graveyard. Bujini Turtle. Huh. Um, oh, boy. So, yeah, this could be an annoyance. I think he has Crane in his hand already, which is going to be a really tough thing to deal with. Um, yeah, Bujins are just so annoying to deal with. Not sure how I should uh, approach right now. I'm really not. I can't attack over that. I mean, I could destroy it with my um, Black Ship of Corn, but there could be something face down to stop that. All right, go into Ophion. I think I'm gonna do just that. All right, I gotta make him use up his his effects. So, all right, let's see. I don't think I should use that Compulse yet, though. All right, I might take some damage from this, but I have to make him use up his his cards. Okay. Huh. All right. What is that? Pavo. That means turkey in Spanish. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. That's bad. Um, not sure what to do here. Kind of have to do something to stop him, though. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, could go into Bahamu. Yeah, I think that's a good move. But I'm going into Bahamut. Yeah, there's hardly any point in going into Ophion right now. I'm going to use Bahamut's effect. He's going to end up, um, yeah, pretty much stopping my effect right now. But there's Turtle, right? negate that effect. Huh. Yeah, I kinda just wanna make him use up his his effects right now. Do I still have to pay my cost or hmm because it says I select my card first. Oh boy. Alright, so I don't have to Okay. Oh no. He kept his turtle. Oh. This is going to be problematic. Huh. That's not good. Um. Could, could try to. This looks pretty bad.
Yeah, that turtle in that graveyard. <laughs> as long as he's got that, I don't think I can do much. All right. We'll figure something out, though. Gotta get over this guy. Oh, the crane is in the house. <laughs> this is not looking good. All right, I got this. I have two infestations, so I think I'm okay. Next, we're gonna activate compulsory. We could do that, I guess. I wonder if he'll let me. Since he has the crane, yeah, getting over that by way of attacking is kind of out of the question. Oh boy. This is looking really bad. Now, if I recall that crane, um, huh. During that damage calculation only, huh? Interesting. So now I can attack over that. Yeah, even if it meant taking a little damage, I was willing to do it. You really have to play smart when you're reversing Bujins. Okay, not bad. Let's try and apply a little pressure. Alright, Mandragora. All right, now I'm gonna assume that face down is the t the crane, but hey, I don't think they have high defense. None of the Buddhas have high defense. Oh, car trooper, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, this guy's not too bad. Not bad at all. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you just played a face down card. I think I'm going to MST that. Huh. All right, let's dish out some more pain. I can't let this guy recover. If Bujins recover, they usually cause a lot of trouble. They really do. I have to stay on the offensive. This guy's racking up cards turn by turn, trying to establish something. He's got three cards in his hand, but hopefully it's... Yep, nothing too good, unfortunately for him. And there you have it, uh, Evil Swarms beating Bujins. Um, I'm doing pretty good with this deck. <laughs> I think I'll save this duel just to find out what he had in his hand. Bujins. Uh, <laughs> I spelled Buggins. Oh, man. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. That's good. Um, I think I still spelled it wrong, right? Nope, I did it right, I think. Anyways, guys, um, yeah, next week I'll be doing my Mecha Phantom Beasts. Uh, my deck profile will be up later tonight, though, for Evil Swarm. So check it out. Um, yeah, Evil Swarms are really good going into the next format. Just try them out. They're not bad. So, yeah, Omega Dark Mage signing out.